Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. First of all, thank you to everyone. All of the subscribers, everyone who follows me on Twitter and Instagram, everybody who reaches out to me on other social media sites that I don't normally advertise, anybody who has used the PayPal donation link, anybody who has contacted me and contracted my services. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tonight's video uh, is going to talk about backing up your configurations and tonight we are going to concentrate on unify the edge router and the edge switch when we get into the air max stuff a little later which i got some stuff coming on that we'll get into that and then i want to talk to you uh, about our website so first let's hop over to unify <clears throat> and you're all familiar with this interface uh, or you should be at this point so we're going to go to settings and then we are going to go to uh, first under um, unify we got the auto backup and with the newer versions this is you know it's auto backing up you can see it's running every day here and I can download uh, this auto backup and that is all of my unify configurations all my sites the whole bit it's a good idea to do this if you're going to upgrade even though it's here even if you have a cloud key and it's on the SD card I like to have this file anytime I'm upgrading, anytime I'm messing with the system, any kind of changes, I will grab this. So you can do it from the the auto uh, backup. If you go over to um, the maintenance, you can um, go to the backup and backup data retention. So how much data are we going to bring with it? Seven days or settings only, or you can do no limit. So that is set on seven days or you could do settings only like I said I always make a backup before I make any kind of big changes always then you have that file and if it goes south on you and you've got to restore unify you just point to that file and you should be in good shape the next device we're looking at this is a an edge router so you're gonna log into the edge router and you're gonna to go to the system tab and on the system tab you're going to scroll down and under configuration management and device maintenance it's going to say backup config so you can download the, the config I always download after any major change I always download it so I have it fresh you know maybe I've spent a uh, half hour an hour making some configuration changes I always back it up and I keep these in a safe secured place that way if something goes south on me I can just restore uh, a lot of times if you've uh, if I'm working with you, I'll have you download this. I'll get the file. I'll make uh, the appropriate changes because I actually throw it in the lab here. And then when I send it to you, you upload the file this way. Anytime you're making any kind of system changes, you know, make sure you've done these backups. So that is the edge router. And then the last one for tonight is our edge switch. Do not use UBNT. UBNT is the username and password. Now the edge switch does things a little differently. Um, and we're going to go to system and it is under utilities and transfer. And you can see we're going to upload a, a file to the device or we're going to download a file from the device. So right now we're going to do HTTP and we're going to do a download and it wants to know what file, what file type are we dealing with. And we want to do our startup configuration. So we will select that and we'll hit begin transfer. And it says transfer complete. And you can see how it downloaded. It says temp config script parenthesis one close parenthesis dot scr. So that is the file. It's a dot scr. If you open it up, it's text. And so when you feed it into the switch, um, it, it programs it using it's it's plain text you can open it up and see that so then if you were going to restore a configuration that I sent you you would upload to the switch and you could use HTTP and you do a startup select it you would do the transfer and then you would reset once again I you know spend a lot of time switches can sometimes have a lot a lot more in-depth configuration than a router. That's not always the case. It depends on what you're doing with a router. Um, but a simple router with a DHCP or a static IP with you know one one route, one default route, and 
one DHCP, that's not going to be very complicated. But if you've got, you know, 30 VLANs and 24 ports and different power settings and stuff like that, and you're making these changes, make sure you're making your backups. You know, I can't, can't say enough about backups um, and making sure that you have those. So play around with that. The last thing I want to talk to you about tonight is we do have our new website up and going. Uh, if you're interested in using me for consulting services, you're going to want to cruise over to https colon slash slash h5technology.com. And this is the site. For those of you who signed up for the Spectre Crypt beta, you probably came here. But uh, you can cruise over there and you can click on contact there or get started today. So the contact and the get started go to the same place. They come over to this form. You fill out your company name, your name, your email, phone if you're in the U.S. Uh, we will take international clients. Uh, then you select what you want to contact regarding. I do have several other people that are doing work. Um, and their specialties are web development, SQL database support, and application development. And then most likely if you need the IT server support, the network firewall configuration, the network security assessment and support, you will be uh, speaking with me or somebody that I have hand selected to do that. Um, and then other, you know, you never know. Do we do something? We do a lot of things we don't advertise. And we probably do them really well. Fill out the best time to contact, subject message, prove that you're not a robot, fire, fire that off. I'm going to get an email, you know, we'll be in touch, you know, based on your best time to contact. So you can go out and check this out. And um, that's kind of it for now. I just wanted to cover that, those two little things for Monday. Uh, in the next video, we'll do some more configuration. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment. Please share. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Use the PayPal donation links. Uh, get a hold of me. Engage, you know, with uh, the community here. And we will see you in the next video.